everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Shannon Ashley here to everyone who is newly subscribed. Thank you so much for joining along this journey of wherever the heck we're going. I'm so happy you're here. And if this is the first time you're watching and you haven't subscribed, you don't have to subscribe right now. Just maybe hang around for a while and subscribe later. Um, but I would love it if you did. So lately, a lot of people have been telling me I'm glowing. I have this different energy about me. And I'm not even saying this to like brag. I'm just telling you guys, like it's been really weird like friday when me and my friends were going to coachella which is a whole nother story um one of my friends was like wow you really are glowing like your skin is just like the bomb so i was like well i have to share this with you guys so i'm going to share this very simple drugstore foundation routine for spring i've um switched a couple things up so i'm just going to show you and share with you guys what i do um, I also switched my hair up. I'm kind of tired of wing wings. I'm kind of tired of wigs right now. So I'm kind of like with the synthetic ponies. So if you guys have some recommendations for um, some ponytails, look at this. It's so synthetic, right? I wore this hair to Coachella and that's a whole nother story to you guys. I don't know which video is going at first, this one or Coachella, but that is going to be a story time video. Enough with the ranting and chatting, let's just get right into this video and of course um, give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get into it. To start off, I have this Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist and this is the rose water one. I use this a lot at Coachella um, just to like spritz myself down in the crowd. How I got it in is like a whole nother story. Um, but on a regular basis, and my eyebrows are already done, if you guys want to see an eyebrow routine let me know, but it's very simple. Um, but I like to just spritz this on my face to start I'm like on my body. This stuff is so refreshing. I'm a little sicky, um, but this stuff is so refreshing. I've had this for over a year now. I just like to spritz it on my face so my face is all nice and ready for moisturizer. So I use this as moisturizer and primer. It's the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Correct and Cover. And this is the Peak pink grapefruit one i got it in a medium to tan i don't know why probably at the time because it was the darkest color this i don't normally do normally i do this guys like i just put it right on my face but i think i got a little nervous being on camera um so yeah i'll just go ahead and so this is like a moisturizer that black or people of darker skin tone cannot just use and go because it's kind of like it'll make your face look ashy but this stuff um it's a good moisturizer for me because it has salicylic i don't know how to say this word salicylic <laughs> acid um so it's a good acne treatment i've noticed like when i don't use this um my skin gets pretty like i get way more acne here and along here um and i know i've said before like when i eat bad i get acne there but let's say like i eat bad and i don't use this it turns out to be kind of just like a disaster so yeah i look really crusty right now but you're gonna go from crusty to glowy all right so now that our face is moisturized and primed lately guys i have been using and i've reviewed both of these on my channel i will put cards up here for them and link them in the bio but i've been mixing these two together i don't think i've showed you guys me mixing them together on the channel um, but this is Unfallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the colors. One is Deep Golden and one is Deep Amber. So I've noticed that uh, one doesn't necessarily like hit the mark for me. So I go ahead and just use two. Oh, let's see if I can do that. All right. So, and then I don't really mix them together before I kind of just do it like as I blend and I'm using this old makeup brush. Any of you make makeup brushes guys? I love 99 cents for makeup brushes. Um, but if you guys have recommendations, these are the kind I like. Um, maybe I'll find an elf one. Um, but I just go in and kind of just like dab it. You know, just <sighs> should have smacked myself like that. Um, but then what's going on here? Okay. I just go ahead and like add it all over my face. And I like to just put the spots where I'm going to put it first and then blend it in after. And really just like, you know, going in this little circle form and just making sure I take my time blending it in and just being really gentle. 
Just being super gentle as I blend it in. One thing I've been doing a lot more recently is blending down into my neck because I've been editing some vlogs, guys, and let me just say my foundation has not been blended, like, at all. Like, some of the foundations that I think are my color are really not my color. Um, so yeah, I've been taking a little more time to blend down into my neck because, um, it matters. <laughs> okay, so usually that's all I do, guys. I don't do any more than, like, two pumps. Like, maybe if I'm going out for the night, I'll add a little bit more. But for now, this is just kind of it. And then I'll just kind of just pat it down to make sure I get all the excess oil or foundation off of my face. Okay, so this I've been loving, which is the e.l.f. Camo 16 Hour Concealer. Um, 16, whatever, I said it kind of funky. And this is the color Rich Chocolate. I love how thick this is. Thick. Um, <laughs> so like if there's too much on my brush i'll still just like put it on here but then i'll like wipe it and then i'll go back from the rest of my face and just move it so i try to just use one like little dab because it's so thick and it brings out so much product that you don't need a lot um and lately guys i have not been doing my nose at all but i might do it today No, I haven't been doing it, so I'm not gonna fake the funk for YouTube. So then I've been using these London Soho um, beauty blenders. This is a little dirty, um, but I got this from the 99 cent store. I think you could still buy it on Amazon. I'm obsessed with these. These were like the Disney ones and they were so good. But I just go ahead and massage it into my skin. And this isn't wet. I think I like this because I feel like it doesn't need to be wet. It's just so like perfectly like squishy that I don't want it. And I know I always bring this up because in one of my earlier videos, um, everyone like dragged me for not wetting my beauty sponge. But I'm like, if you don't want to, you don't have to, you know, different strokes for different folks. Um, <laughs> I think in that video I was kind of struggling, so. And then just blending it out. I like this color though because it's really like natural um, when it blends in and I think it complements well. And I just love this concealer because it's so thick. Okay, yeah. So I haven't been doing the nose thing, but I'll just add any extra concealer. This is like something that normally I'll do is like add extra concealer to my nose. Then I'm not doing like the whole line thing anymore. Just because that one is, this concealer is so thick, like. And it's just like an everyday thing. I don't feel like I need it. Okay, so now that concealer is all on my face, I'm going in. There's airspun powder in here. This is just my travel one from the weekend. Um, I'm going to go in and put translucent powder all over. So I'll kind of like make it like super, the tip super full. And then I'll just press it all into here. And again, if there's like extra product on my face, which there is, I'll use this product to like fill in my face so i'll show you guys like here i'll just go over and take some of this and like put it over here um and i don't i'm not baking right now you guys i'm just going in and filling it all in like um i'm gonna save baking for summer i did use a ton of this powder for coachella and on day three it was so like hot and I felt like I was like sweating like crazy and then I looked at my face and I was like whoa I'm not really sweating like I thought I would be so big ups to airspin powder this stuff is amazing and probably like the foundation too I just think like the whole combination of these products is like giving me that glow um but yeah so I kind of go to town with translucent powder especially at the end which you guys will see um but yeah, just doing a little bit more like here and here and then a ton in here because I get really oily here, like a lot. Yeah. All right, so I know it looks a little ashy right now. That's okay because we're gonna go back in with some powder after but right now I will show you guys my blush which you guys already know it's elf always spicy I always use this 
Let's move on with this brush. This is a blusher from the 99 cent store. And I'm just gonna... Add some here. some mascara so i've really learned to grow and love these these are the covergirl lash blast um this is the lash blast volume and this is the clump crusher so lately i've been using this one a lot and i've been using it with the eyelash curler and right now i have no idea where my eyelash curler is but let's just go ahead And yeah guys, it took me a long time to like learn how to use this mascara and actually like it. Um, running to the end of it though, so I think it's time to do a review. Um, this is getting funky right there. But yeah, I like it. It's cool. Especially with the eyelash curler, I think it comes alive. So this side. scarf is becoming a little too tight. I, I don't know why, but like, the lashes never want to act right. It's kind of frustrating. And then I'm going to go in with the orange one and kind of just top it off. Okay. So that's my mascara, guys. And I like to do this before um, I put my powder on so that way it can have time to dry. So I can go back in right after with um, the eyelash curler. But next, um, I thought I was going to use my MAC um dark deep mineralized skin finish but i want to keep this drugstore so i do use this from time to time but if i don't have this you can always go with maybelline fit me in the color 360 mocha um and i'm going to use the same brush i use for foundation but another good brush for this is the elf powder brush i think that brush is phenomenal and i'm gonna take this scarf off in a second guys well i have two scarves on so let me take this off all right bear with me guys okay so you guys can see like it's a little ashy here so this helps a lot with that and i'm actually on the hunt for like some new deeper toned um drugstore powders so let me know if you guys know of any good ones i think what is it black radiance has a really really good one uh, and so does covergirl queen that's a really good collection this whole spectrum one i'm like kind of oh about but covergirl queen like they should definitely keep that Okay, so this, you guys, I'm literally just packing it into my skin, like, just like that. No, like, just literally, like, pack on small little sections. Same, 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 same for the mustache area. And then under here, you guys. And this is important because it blends your blush in, like, my blush here versus my blush here. Like, you want it to be blended. Um, I forgot which side I'm on. I think I'm on this side. How am I gonna like show you guys and then not know which side I'm on? Um, so yeah, just take your time like just blending the powder in and you don't want to like, I make sure I blend a lot here just because I don't want this to look, I just want it to look like seamless and not ashy. Okay, and then the other thing I do, which seems really, really crazy is I go in again with my translucent powder and I blend the crap out of my face. So I'm about to show you guys. It takes a little bit more time. Um, but I feel like it really helps with just keeping everything on. So you guys, like, I barely put powder on my face. That's why it's important to, like, really important and then this is a lot so I'm gonna use this like for a lot of my face oh gosh this is a bad example guys I'm so sorry <laughs> okay so this we're gonna be on for a minute um, 
but you're just gonna keep going and this might seem counterproductive like why is she putting white stuff on her dark skin um but this is what keeps it on your face so you just want to make sure you like really take your time going around your whole entire face and I hope you like this comes out good on camera because I feel like it comes out like amazing in real life but on camera it might look a little ashy um it probably looks like I'm undoing everything I just did but guys trust me and then another thing you could do like this brush is a little stiff so I'm just gonna spray it with my facial mist um just to make it a little soft All right, so I'm gonna finish doing this, you guys, and then put on my, finish doing my hair, and I'll be right back. I feel like it low-key looks a little ashy on camera, and I'm just like, no, because it looks so good right now. And um, I feel like in real life, it looks really good. But I'm looking for my eyelash curler right now. Found it. Now this is another one of my favorite brushes. Okay, just because it looks ashy, we're going to go in with a little fit me because um, I can't, you know, show you guys a glowy look. But I promise you guys in real life, it does not look this ashy. But we're just going to go in with a little more fit me to top it all off. Okay, so next we're going to do my eyelash curler. Whenever I use these guys, I always put it here. Before I even clip it, I make sure that I can blink like five times comfortably. And then... That's skin. Okay, and then I go ahead and close it and blink again. Like when you use these eyelash curlers, you always want to be blinking just to keep yourself calm. Like you know, like, okay, so then I'm actually like moving my fingers together just to make sure like I'm getting nice and curled. And then you open it, blink again, and then remove it. Okay. Boom. Same thing on this side. All right, and the color I've been using, you guys, ooh, it's starting to come together now, is Ginger Snap by NYX. Ooh, got a little dirty or a little messy. I think it goes great with dark skin tones. And that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope this came out looking well. I'm not sure about the lighting right now, so I hope this came out looking well. I feel like I what I see in the mirror, my hair super cracked, um, is not what I see in this reflection. But yeah guys, this is my everyday glowy, very simple drugstore makeup routine. I don't use finishing spray anymore, I used to, and I really love when Juicy Jazz recommended, the, I really loved when she recommended the matte stay and the, the Rimmel Stay Matte Fixing Glow, this is 2-in-1 primer and setting spray, but I feel like it literally like keeps makeup trapped on my skin, like it doesn't look like my face breathes, so like as it's like oxidizing, like there's little like bubbles on my face, I don't know, I wish I could like that so much, maybe I just need to use less, um, but I just need something not as like heavy, so if I need to like spritz throughout the day, um, I'll just use this but yeah guys this is my glowy <laughs> everyday skin care routine or everyday foundation routine for the spring let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys want to see the breakdown of how much everything costs check out my blog heyshannonashley.com and i break down the prices of everything and where to find this stuff at i'll also leave links affiliate links down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye